Hello YouTube, welcome back to the channel. Today, Saturday, the 25th of March. Um, just gone 10 past 10 in the morning. This is a video, I haven't planned it at all. I'm actually out about shopping in Tesla's car park. So I haven't got my GoPro. Um, I've had to balance my phone on the dashboard and haven't really prepared what I'm gonna say, but um, it's a Saturday. So what I did was my usual weigh-in this morning, but luckily, um i managed to get a body fat test in early this morning so the day didn't start quite as i'd planned i was going to do a body fat test and then do an hour or so on the turbo trainer and then carry on the day but um i went to bed slightly later than what i wanted to so i woke up slightly later than I wanted to and then i didn't really feel like doing the the turbo trainer session this morning my legs are a bit aching from the walk yesterday so I didn't do the, the training session. I've had the morning off, but I have done a body fat test and good result. Um, surprised really, the result was better than what it was um, or better than last time's result, which is obviously good, but it's also better than what I was expecting. Um, so I'm gonna to talk today a little bit about the test and possibly why I've seen a bit of a difference. So, and also, I didn't do the fitness session this morning because I've had a good week this week. I've had, on my Garmin watch and on Strava, well, Garmin watch really, um, I'm ahead of my weekly goal for steps because I've done a lot of walking and running. So my steps is up. I've done my intensity goal. So the amount of minutes I wanted to do this week of exercise is up. So I'm not, I haven't trained today. I won't probably not be able to train tomorrow. So that's the week. But I have completed my steps and um, intensity minutes for the week so far. Um, probably calories. Um, it probably does average out over 3,500. So that's going to be a pound a week lost of body weight or body fat. So I don't really need to train. Didn't really need to train this morning. I just wanted to do it. But a day off is probably a good idea anyway. Um, and actually, when I was walking in the house this morning, getting ready, uh, my legs were a bit sore, so maybe it's a good sign that I should have a rest. So, um, yeah, just a bit of a car gone past. So I did a body fat test. So I did all the things I should do. I didn't drink any alcohol within 24 hours. I haven't drunk any caffeine within 12 or actually 24 hours. Um, haven't had any any big meals, haven't drunk any water, haven't exercised, um, well hydrated, drunk lots of water last night. I woke up this morning and went to the toilet. Um, I got dressed, I left my left sock on, but my right sock off. I didn't touch any body parts. I lied down for a couple of minutes to let the body fluids settle down. I turned the machine on for a couple of minutes to let it warm up, make sure it's turned on properly. And then, I did the body fat test. I made sure the stickers, the electrodes are stuck in the right place. Um, I had a good read of the instruction book last night because I think a couple of videos ago, I mentioned I was confused about a few figures and I understand why. Um, so I'll go into detail in a moment. Um, but also it says when you stick the stickers on your hands, the one here is quite important. It should go um, on in line with that knuckle there, but but there. But the one which goes on your wrist, but the ulna, uh, that's more important. It needs to go in line with the bone and in, in line with the arm. And the one on the foot in line with the toe um, says it's not hugely important, but it needs to go in line with the second toe, um, half at the foot. But then the ones um, basically in between the ankle bones, that is important. And then you need to have the black lead on the, elbow uh, wrist one and the ankle one and then the red one goes on the hand and the foot one um so what i did this morning was i took my watch off now that won't make a difference with body weight but it might make a difference with the body fat test result because electricity flows to your body and it does say don't do the test if you've got a pacemaker don't do the test if you're pregnant um you don't on the right side of the body so it doesn't go through the heart but then also it says, 
um, electrical appliances could interfere with it. So maybe an electric watch with GPS could affect the result. Maybe. I'm not sure. Um, I weighed myself. Um, not the lightest I've been in the last month, but um, a little bit lighter than last week. So whatever, I'm lighter than last week, so it's okay. Uh, I didn't train late at night last night. I didn't train early this morning and I drank loads of water, so I'm not dehydrated or faking my result that way. It's just a normally uh, hydrated day. So that's okay. So it's quite a fair test, really. Um, so the results. Last week, I'm not sure exactly what I was, but I was 183 something pounds. Today was 182.6. So about a pound in weight, total body weight less. Last week, I was about 13 percent body fat um, I've been about 12 to 13 percent the last couple of weeks months um, as the body weight goes down the body fat changes a little bit so the last couple of months my weight's been going up and down for a few pounds so um, I was happy that my weight went down a pound and also my body fat has gone from 13 percent to 9.9 .9. I did the test about five or six times and it went 9.9, 10, 9.9, 10, 9.9, 10. Usually when you do the test three or four times, you get one which then goes down to eight or 11. Um, so I keep doing it again, 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 until I get a constant reading, a very similar reading. Um, sometimes when you change your body position, you close your legs or open your legs, lift your head up or move your arms, the result does change a bit. So I made sure I was in the same position as last week to keep it fair. Um, and I got the 9.9 .9 on a number of times. So I've gone with that. So I'm well happy that my body fat percentage has gone under 10. It's now in the single figures, 9.9, .9, just about. Um, so that is in the athletic range, whether or not I want to push a bit more, um, there's a balance between what's fit and healthy and what's doable to what I want to do. Um, I'm not really bothered about what the body fat percentage is because I know it's just a guess. It's just an estimate. It might be 5% out. So it could be a few pounds over, a few pounds under. But um, if I'm 10% now and I don't really feel really ripped and I don't really feel like I'm really dieted, um, and realistically, you could go down to something like 6% body fat before you start becoming ill. Um, realistically, could I lose 4% body fat? Well, if you do the sums, either I can probably, possibly, yes. Um, but maybe that's why I'm not losing weight at the moment. Maybe that is why my body fat is low, but I can't go any lower. So maybe then I'm really struggling because I'm at the the lowest end you can be um there was a a thought i had last time i did a body fat test how come it says so i got the result here today i scribbled down and it says i'm 182 pounds but recommended range is 190 to 203 um and it says body fat is 10 percent range is 13 to 19 um and some of the numbers don't add up so 18 percent body fat is now, 18 pounds of body fat, is, and it says recommended 26 to 37. Um, it, all the numbers didn't add up, but I know what it is now. The recommended range is um, the body stats way you highly recommend it. So there's two ways it measures it, and it takes the highest reading. So whichever one's highest, it'll use that method. Um, the one way it measures it is BMI. So if you're... Um, if your BMI score is the highest of these two numbers, it uses that BMI. So what it'll say is, you weigh 130 pounds, uh, the recommended range in a workout, what you should be for your BMI. But the other way, which actually I found out, which the body stat machine uses, is the composition method. So what it does is, it takes what your body fat percentage is, and your weight, so 182 pounds, and it works out what, 13% uh, of 182 is and what 19% of 182 is and then it works out what 
your, your weight should be based off of that. So that's why your recommended range is 190 to 203. It doesn't mean I should be that weight. It just says that um, it takes your average percentage of your fat and it, it works like that. So I was I was thinking that there's some charts somewhere saying that my height, I should be between this weight and that weight. It doesn't work like that, it's not. It's just, if I was gonna stay at this percent body fat, what my weight should be. Um, so it's okay. Um, I know why now some of the figures don't add up. So if anyone looks at my result and goes, it says you're 182, but you recommended, if they zoomed in, you should be 190 to 203. No, that's just a composition method of working out. If my BMI, if I was really, really underweight, and my BMI score was higher than my composition score, it would use that method and say that you should be um, between this weight and that weight. I think at the moment I'm 25 on the BMI score, so it would say I'm overweight, so you should lose lose weight or something. But obviously, 10% body fat with a BMI of 25, nobody's gonna tell me that I'm fat or overweight because that's a really good uh, body composition score. A 10% body fat, yes, I might be total body weight heavy, but a 10% body fat score, if it's right, is really good. Even if it's 5% out, and you say I'm 12% body fat, or even 15% body fat, that's still good, um, good score. Um, so what I'm gonna do is, you take 182, take off 10%, um, so I'll give you like a 172, that's what you are when you're 0% body fat, and then I'm going to add on back on 6% fat. So I work out what 6% in pounds is. And then that'll be what weight I need to be at 6% body fat. Um, if my lean weight stays the same. I haven't done any uh, weightlifting ages. So what I can do is I can go back through my last 20 body fat tests. See what my average lean weight is. And then add 6% body fat on top of that. Um, there's another score which I'm going to start looking at. Um, I know what it is. I never use it on this sheet. It says dry, uh, dry lean. What it is, your lean weight is the weight of your bones, the muscles, and the water in the body. Dry weight is you minus the water off that weight. So water, I am 55.3 litres. So that's about 55.3 kilograms because it's a kilogram per litre. So take away 55 kilograms off 182 pounds and that's my dry weight. Um, obviously muscle is made up of water, but the way the body fat test works is resistance of electricity going through the body and water has a different resistance than other elements in the body. So if you take away the water weight, it gives you just the muscle and the bone. You can tell then if you're overhydrated or underhydrated. Now hydration, normally it says you should be 55 to 65%. And today I'm actually 66.8, so I'm overhydrated um, by about a litre. But then it's just good to see. It doesn't really make a difference. You can forget about uh, that weight. If I minus that weight to make it a dry weight, well then um, that'll cancel out any water. I can w stop worrying about that. The only good thing is though, you keep monitoring it. So if you have got, say, a kidney problem, you'd have a lot of water retention. Sorry, I'm just looking at a car there parked in two bays. Um, you have a lot of water retention, so obviously then you see the water will go up and up and up. And up. Uh, as long as that figure stays the same, around 55 to 65%, I'm not worried about 1% over. But it's just good to see the figures. If it is going up or down, you know then your result might be fixed or fake. Um, I've changed my estimated average energy required to very high, not medium high because I do do exercise five times a week for 10 plus hours. So I think I'm actually gone up to the very high. That doesn't really matter. It just gives me um, an estimated calorie amount. I don't have to go off that. Um, so yeah, under 10% body fat, 9.9. .9. Um, I'm going to work out, like I said, some figures to um, make a new plan. I think I want to be still um, 
low 170 pounds but then if i can't make my lean weight go down by just making muscle disappear um maybe my goal weight is only going to be 170 i don't know 178 pounds maybe i can't get 168 but i did get 172 pounds a couple of years ago so i'm thinking it is possible but um if i can just get down to 172 um about eight or six percent body fat well i think that's actually my new goal um so yeah this is just a quick video like i said i haven't got my gopro with me i'm in my car i've had to just balance my phone on the screen um i just want to get this uploaded just so i got something in the bank um yesterday's video was a video of my walk but it's only like a three minute video so um like i said i want to get some more regular content um come up to 16 minutes now i'll try and upload this while i'm in tesco's uh subscribe like share ask any questions you like and uh see you soon